When you're dealing with exponential growth or decay problems, um, you need to use this formula, A equals P times E raised to the RT power. A is the ending amount, P is your initial amount, E is actually a number, 2.71828 or something like that, so <laughs> I know it's 2.7, um, and then it's continuous like pi, and then R is your rate and T is your time. Now if this is a growth problem then R is going to be positive. If you're talking about decay then R is going to be a negative value. So let's look at a couple of examples of how to use this um, formula. So you could use this with um, compound interest. Interest, let's say you have um, you invest $1,100 and if you have a total of $1,133 after three years, what was the interest rate? Okay, so you can set this up using the formula. So remember that's A equals P times E raised to the RT power. So A is the $1,133. So $1,133, that's how much you have after three years. P is what you initially started with, which was the $1,100 times E to the R, you don't know what R is, and T times three. Okay, so now you can see you only have one variable and that's your R value and you're trying to solve for R. So one of the things you're going to do is basically simplify everything that's outside of this e to the r, r to the third power. Okay, so you're going to divide both sides by 1100. So 1133 divided by 1100 is going to give you 1.03. And we set that equal to e, and I'm going to write this as 3r. Now here's the trick. If this is, since this is a log or natural log, we would use natural log when, you're, you, when you have an E value. So you're going to take the natural log of both sides. Natural log of E to the 3R. Okay. Now what you want to do is this 3R, you're going to pull this out in front of the natural log of E using our exponent rule logarithm property. Okay. Now, the thing you have to remember is that the natural log of at E just equals 1. So basically you have 3R equal to natural log of 1.03. Now remember, natural log of 1.03 is just a number. And so we're just solving this for R, so you're going to divide both sides by 3. And then you're going to plug this into your calculator. Plug in a natural log of 1.03 and divide that by 3. Now you should plug that in your calculator, make sure you're plugging it in right, and you should get the value of 0 0.009985 approximately continues now, if we're doing percent, we're going to times this by 100, so it's going to move the decimal over to, and that looks like 0.985%. So let's round that to the nearest um, percent, so this would become 1%. That's your rate. Okay. Alright, so let's look at another example. 
If you have a mass of radioactive substance that decays at a rate of 4% per day, if the sample has initial mass of 2.68 kilograms, find the mass of the sample after six days. Okay, I'm just going to underline some of the important information. And it's decay is important. Because remember what happens when it's a decay, we're going to make the rate a negative value. So let's think of the formula again. A equals P times E to the RT power. Okay, so let's see. If the, the initial mass was 2.68 kilograms, that's P times E, and the rate, so we convert our 4%, so you move the decimal over two places, that's going to be 0 0.04. And remember, since it's a decay, it's going to be negative. And then T is going to be um, 6 days, so we're going to times that by 6. And they want to know what A is. So in this case, our variable is not in the exponent, so we're not going to need to take the natural log of both sides like we did before. In this one, we're simply going to plug things into our calculator. I'm going to go ahead and simplify um, negative 0 0.04 times 6 first, so that's going to give me e to the negative 0 0.24. Now you're just going to plug this in to your calculator, so go ahead and get your calculator out and check that out and make sure you're putting it in correctly. You can use the calculator on the Google Algebra site if you need to. Okay, so you plug this in and you're going to get 2.1081, and so if it asks you to round to the nearest two decimal places, we're going to need to decide if this is a zero or rounds up to one and you look to the number on the right and it's bigger than five so it's going to be 2.11 and these are kilograms so after six days it is now only um, 2.11 kilograms of substance